All right, this is going to be a quick overview of the Iceberg Entry Orders module for our Enhanced Chart Trader product. So, in case this is your first video, what you're seeing here is the Enhanced Chart Trader, all of this. So, the Iceberg module is down here at the bottom. So if you purchase the iceberg module, you get the basic enhanced chart trader features, these market limit, all the essential buttons and controls that you see here, plus the iceberg entry orders stuff. So the idea of iceberg entry orders here is to place large quantity orders and conceal what's happening. So I'll go ahead and just kind of review the features. So obviously we have our buy and sell click buttons here that we can click and then we click the chart. That places a regular order. In the same way with Iceberg, we can place Iceberg orders just like that. So if I want to buy Iceberg, I will hit the button and then I can go ahead and set my order just as if I was doing a limit order below or even a stop order above. So we can see here with the iceberg, this is right now what I would call a synthetic order. So it's just resting on my local machine. If I set it, I can go ahead and read the text at the bottom here, which says buy 10 iceberg pending. Display market orders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna submit market orders to fill all 10 of these contracts. The quantity is gonna equal three, in parentheses two to four contracts at a 20% variance. So what that's saying is we want to submit random orders until we get to 10 contracts. We might submit like a two lot, a three lot, and then a four lot, and then so two plus three plus four is nine, then we would need to submit another one lot to end up with 10. So those numbers are going to be randomized to again totally conceal um, taking on these positions or taking on these orders to get to a total of 10 contracts. So here we can increase, let's just go over the controls on this screen real quick. So here's where we control the size, the main size of the trade. So this is the total number of contracts um, to be submitted for this iceberg. So if you want to do a 20 lot trade, you would just, you know, set that to 20. Good till canceled or, or uh, or uh, good for the day right here. Moving on, you've got the display quantity. So here's where you're gonna adjust the real orders that we're displaying. So let's say we wanna go up to four lots. And we can increase the variance too. So we could do, say two lots with the variance of one to three. The 60% variance is gonna result in, in, in orders from anywhere from one contract to three contracts getting submitted. So I have like a one, two, two, three, one, two, three. Keep submitting those orders right up until you hit 20 lots. So again, that's in a case of market. We can also submit limit orders or stop orders as well um, to fulfill this iceberg. And then you've got a few more settings here, which I'm not gonna cover in this video today. Uh, to control what happens if you are submitting limit orders and they aren't getting filled. So you can really you can trail your limit orders up, chase the market uh, until they get filled or you can even you know go ahead and just cancel the order and fill those number of contracts at market. So let's go ahead and take a look at this iceberg here. Let's, let's just cancel this order so I'll hit the X and then we can actually either select the price or we can hit the start order now button. So the start order now is going to immediately start working the iceberg order. So if we click that, you're going to see it's going to happen really fast, but it's gradually submitting these orders to get us into the full position. So now we have a bunch of targets above the market. And we've, I've actually added a feature to where you can move all these at once. So if you hit the move all exits button, and then you see how it says click to move stops, you can click that, and now you've moved all your stop orders in one click. Same thing above the market, if I wanna move all these targets up, obviously we've got a bunch of little targets because of all the 
different entries that we submitted at once here, some two lot, some one lot uh, targets, we can move these all at once using this move all exits button. Right there, so I'll do that again just to show you guys that. All right. Now we can also close out the, the entire trade with the close all button, just, to, just as you would in a normal trade. So if you hit that, it's actually gonna get out of the position by moving the targets down like this. So if I move a target down, obviously that target gets filled. You know, we keep moving those down until we get completely out of the position. Right, so we can also just hit close all, right? So if we hit close all, we're out of the position. So again, the same. So again, just to repeat this, so you can start these orders immediately by using the small button here. It says start order now, or you can place your order at a particular price, as in if you were placing like a limit or a stop order. So let's say I want to sell. If it pulls back up just a little bit, I want to start this order. So let's see if we can get this triggered. Really don't want to have to wait for this. I'm just going to move it down closer, even closer. All right, I'll zoom in just a little bit so we can see this. Okay, so the order got hit and it immediately you can see the contracts keep incrementing up until we hit the full position. So here we've got a three lot, a four lot, a two lot, a bunch of these. These can also get, get combined or split, the stop losses, so we can combine these all into the same price. And again, using the move all exits, like if I hit split, see how it splits them out? Now I can see them all right next to each other. And then we can also, again, use the move all exits button. So if I want to start getting out of this trade, start scaling out of this trade, say, you know, once I'm three points in the money, I would just click here. Now all of our targets are kind of lined up to get us out as it starts to come down through this area. So that's a quick overview. I'll probably be redoing this later as we continue to add more features but for now that's what we have um, definitely uh, a useful tool and something that's unique and I don't think available anywhere else thanks for listening again reach out bottom right corner of the screen click on the help button and let us know if you have any questions thanks guys